So I went to the Dollar Tree today, and you can see this says $14, but $4 I spent on making pizza. The other $10 is a Valentine's dinner that I'm going to be making. You'll see that in a later video. But I've seen these um, pizza crusts at Dollar Tree, and I've always wanted to try them. Uh, they're pretty thin, uh, ultra-thin pizza crusts, ready to top. And then it says it's 130 calories, 1 gram of fiber, 1 gram of sugars, and 80 milligrams of um, sodium. On the back, the directions it gives both for the oven and a gas grill. I should probably do it on a grill. That would be cool. Anyway, I'm going to do it in the oven. It says preheat oven at uh, 425. So there they had three options for cheese. Uh, the one was the cheese shreds that are not are not really cheese. They had this, and it says low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese. And this is a small pack. How many ounces is it? Three ounces. And I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if it melts. I also got this cheese, which I'm going to shred up. They did not have any uh, pizza sauce, so I am using this garlic and herb uh, pasta sauce. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so here we go. Let's open our pizza crust. It says tear, tear here. It smells like kind of like a tortilla. It's pretty flat. I'm, I'm using this um, because it's crispy. I'm using this one that lets air up. So let's see if that works. We're going to open our uh, spaghetti sauce. And I think this is a good deal. They had like four or five different brands there. Or not brands. It was all hunts, but they had four or five different types of pasta sauce. I thought because um, this was going to be uh, for pizza that I would get the garlic and herb. Now, I could not find pepperoni. Uh, the only pepperoni I found was like in the, like the little snack packs. Uh, I know they've had pepperoni before. So anyway, and as far as they didn't have any sausage today, and so I, I'm just going to do a cheese pizza right now with what I, with what I have here. So let's see. Well, we need a new can opener. This is not working very well. I should have put that on my Christmas list. Or maybe Amy should have put that on her Christmas list. Okay, so here we go. It looks kind of thick, so anyway, I think this is a good deal. I think this is a good deal because a dollar for um, sauce. Our favorite is from Aldi, and it used to be uh, eighty-five cents, but the last time we got it was a dollar nineteen, and so it's it's gone up a little bit. So we can use the rest of this for something else later. Oh, you can see the bits of of garlic in there. I don't want to put too much. I don't know if you like sauce, if you're a sauce person. And we'll start. How about we do this? I'm going to do, the, do it this way. I'm going to do half this cheese. I should taste it to see. Tastes like mozzarella. Maybe a little tang, a little more tangy. So let's do this side with this mozzarella. And then we'll shred this side. We'll open this up here. And we'll shred this and see how it is. Now we know that this melts because we've used this before and uh, we actually used this cheese in our charcuterie board. Let's see, we put this on the other half. Now how am I going to 
remember which which half is going to be which when I put it when it comes out. So this is how many ounces is this cheese? This little block. Four ounces. So you're getting an ounce, what is it, an ounce more than in the other. The boys are watching. The boys are probably happy there's not pepperoni. They like cheese pizza. However, we however we did have a meat a meat pizza the other night someone sent to us, uh, someone from church uh, had it sent to our house, which was so nice, and it was an all-meat pizza, and they gobbled that up, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, and so we'll put this here, and then, so here we go, here's our pizza. So half is, half is the... Frigo, and then the other half is the Lakeview. So we'll put this in the oven back here and see. So careful, it says, hey, it's got Um And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here is our pizza. Now, this side right here was the uh, brick. And this was the Frigo. So it's hard to tell the difference. Um, this side maybe looked like it has a little bit more cheese, but because it had an ounce more. I baked it at the 345 for only like 10 minutes and it was done. And it's crispy. So let's cut it and give it a taste. So both of those cheeses melted fine. You know, the price, this Dollar Tree has not gone up uh, to $1.25 like some. Everything was still a dollar. Uh, so that's good. So this, I did, my students today did order a Little Caesars pizza and it went up from $5 to $5.55. And when I was in college, I would get a pizza, a $5 pizza from Little Caesars and I would, you know, eat a couple slices that night and save the rest for a couple more meals. So that has been $5 as long as I can remember. You know, I was in college, so that would have been around 2003, 2004. And uh, anyway, so it's been a long time and they raised their prices to $5.55. Anyway, this was a $4 pizza. So let's get a piece on our our plate and taste it and see how our Dollar Tree pizza is. Okay, so here we go. Here's our pizza, saucy. Now Amy makes a fantastic uh, pizza, homemade pizza, but you know, if you're not feeling making the crust, you can, you know, get it for a dollar. Hot, very hot. Uh, it tastes like a cheese pizza. It's actually not bad at all. So, try pizza from uh, Dollar Tree. It's pretty good. Make a quick lunch for the family. You know, less than a dollar um, for lunch. Okay, that's all from the Huddle Haas. Thank you. God bless. Thanks for watching.